thank you so much for, for joining us today uh, for another Machine Heads interview. Uh, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing well. How are you, sir? Good, good, man. So, uh, Andy, you are the product manager for Mini Excavators, which makes you the perfect person to talk to uh, uh, at Develon uh, whenever we're talking about this new 17Z-7 uh, Mini Excavator. So we're going to go ahead and get right on to it. The, the first thing that I kind of wanted to discuss with you a little bit um, is just, it's just like a quick discussion of the Mini Excavator market in general. Um, what, are, what are you guys at Develon seeing in terms of um, demand for mini excavators, any kind of like new customer trends that you guys are tracking or, or any other kind of like interesting things with the market in general um, that you guys are kind of keeping track of right now? Yes, so um, this will kind of come with the pros and cons. So I'll probably uh, mention about some of the up and coming good news for the mini excavator in Pacific way. And then okay. a little bit on the con side where uh, what we are uh, difficulties that will be cha challenging that challenges that we are facing as of right now so Great, yeah for the mini excavators as as it being a smaller excavator than the heavy guys uh generally it will be cheaper and it will be a lot more operator owner friendly in terms of their product uh nature of it so uh recently with the uh the urban pro uh, urban projects and then infrastructure development um the mass number of increase on those projects does result in more demands in the mini excavators due to, and this is also tagging along with the rental market, where if you're not willing to actually purchase the machine, but then you want to have it in your small project on your own personal level, and that's where the mini excavators would come in, right? So then, oh, I can borrow it for up to three to four months rather than owning a much bigger size excavator. And then that will be more budget friendly and uh, for on a personal level. And another thing, uh, what excels, uh, what mini excavators excel at would be like the versatility and and efficiency, as in um, their size, and again with the uh, fuel efficiency, with the uh, all of those budgeting that you can contribute into. They are highly versatile, and also it can use in a wide range of applications, including you know, landscaping, you know, utility works, or uh, demolition, or small scale construction projects. And that also comes in with the attachments that you can put it on on the these mini excavators, which allows you to do a lot of the uh, work that uh, you wouldn't be able to do with just one machine, right? And last but not least is a little bit of the, also the technological advancement, as in the time does pass by, we are introducing, bringing in a lot of the heavy excavated features that you would only see in the heavy guys, but now we're bringing in the mini guys. So then the mini guys are also now getting those, uh, let's say the telematics. Now we they are uh, standard on all our mini excavator machines. Uh, auxiliary piping, aux one and aux two piping being standard on the mini mini side as well. So those kind of uh, features that were so-called premium slash optional, that were only existing for the heavy excavator side are now being brought over to the mini excavator side, which drastically increases their versatility. Those are all the good things um, about the market, but the reality actually is that um, with the ending of COVID, and with the election also coming in uh, and some of these uncertainties with the market and the timing of our uh, industry, the, a lot of the demands has gone down in terms of the market compared to the COVID years, right? Because that those projects were also even livelier when you got to spend time at the back doing, having some time to do work in your backyard. So in the, in the 20s, 21s, 22s, 23s, we had a very high demand, especially for the mini excavators and the rental side where a lot more people are doing that. But now it's kind of um, um, saturated in a sense that it's slowing down. People are just looking at the right timing to get back on the spending. But I, I believe uh, starting the next year, we'll kind of pick up even more. But as of right now, 2024, people are uh, a little more hesitant on spending big bucks, even for the mini excavator. So that would be yeah, the, no, uh, interesting. Kind of yeah, to... yeah, for for sure. I mean, that that definitely makes sense in terms of like a, at a certain point, um, right. kind of seeing some of that saturation and some of that spending uh, was was gonna stop. I, I, I I'm we're we're also um, um, today. I'm also going to be talking to one of your colleagues about the new DTL 35. I'm kind of curious, and I, I won't spend too much time on a on a product that's outside of your category. But um, from your perspective, from the from the mini hex side, um, yeah. obviously a machine that the mini hex is 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 really paired with a lot, and and they've kind of seen that 
these two are the, I mean, the mini hex and the CTL are the top two machines, yes. period, you know, period, and all of construction equipment. Right. So how, how excited or how much are you looking forward to that, that DTL 35 being in the market? Uh, and how much do you think that that'll kind of help, uh, help the mini hex side as well? Oh, I'm very excited. Uh, as you mentioned, they're kind of the package deal, right? So you have yeah. the excavator, but then you kind of want the CTL to do uh, a lot of jobs that you would need. So uh, hopefully there's a synergy going on. And then it's also exciting in a uh, perspective that Develon as a company are also expanding on the product lineup, right? DTL or compact track loader lineup is a lineup that we didn't exist before. So the introduction of these product again, will hopefully will boost up with our mini excavator and hey you know i would want the excavator with the D, uh, ctl that type of thing so yes sir that's right dude absolutely um speaking of uh, the develon brand um last year kind of con expo represented really um you guys kind of split it between uh, world of concrete and con expo but con expo was really kind of like the global kind of coming out party uh, official debut of the develon brand what um what has the work and, and establishing this brand and getting it on everybody's radar. Um, what's what's that been like? What's the experience been like for you personally? And, and how has it gone so far? It, at, as you mentioned, uh, as of last year, 2023, at the Con Expo, uh, the brand itself has been changed into the Bellon from the previous Doosan brand. Uh, I think, so this also comes in a part of the Bellon being an international, you know, global brand where in Korea, the combination of a uh, Hyundai construction and the development goes up to you're taking talking 60 to 70 percent of the huge uh, market share in the Korean region, whereas we do not have as much as market share presence in the United States. So the change definitely had some uh, difficulties coming into it, but um, it was a necessary change that we had to go through. So it's been a hard work, but. I mean, compared to 2023 and then now just making a progress as little by little, but at least heading to the right direction. That's uh, over, I mean, over a year now from the original launch. I feel like uh, we are pretty excited to see more machines out there and uh, supporting the customers in a ways that they need to do. Has that has that switch from the Dusan brand, and I'm interested to kind of hear a little bit too about the customer reaction, yes. but has that, has, has that... I feel like that might have even kind of provided, like the new branding might have even provided some some new energy to you guys as well. Mm -hmm. right. Is that would would you say that's accurate? No, yeah. Um, as in like new starting point, right? A yeah, uh, exactly. Absolutely. Um, in in short, you know, we we were part of the Dusan family, and now we have a brand new last name. Uh, so we couldn't <laughs> use the la name Dusan anymore. We had to change our last name to Hyundai. So now it's, you know, that's kind of the uh, way that right. I, I explain numerous times in Con Expo when people are asking about the new brand changes that, you know, we we have been around for quite some time for, you know, over 60, 70 years, but there's been some brand changes, but the core values and then the technology uh, technology that we hold on to also the engine department uh, came to Hyundai with uh, us as a development brand too. So um, the core technology is still there and just... Uh, it's a, it's take, I mean, 2023, even so it might've been a little early, but Hey, we had to get that, uh, bandage off the uh, bandage off. So yeah, when I went with it, so. Well, like, um, is what, like w the, with the new brand too, and then you've got the, the product line expanding with the CTL, like we were talking about, like, how do uh -huh. you feel, um, the, you know, you know, now being under the, the Hyundai family, um, it, it, how do you, what's been the customer reaction? We were kind of mentioned that, but what's been the customer reaction and, and how do you feel like maybe even more uniquely situated now to kind of meet some of these new demands and some of the new trends right. that you guys are seeing? Um, in, in short, actually the mini excavator lineups, we used to share them with Bob, do some bucket, now do some bucket and then that type of deal. But now us being separated, we have our own lineups, right? And that actually, it includes uh, most of the mini excavators, the lineup we have, we offer up to 10 mini excavators now, ranging from DX17, which is our smallest, all the way up to DX100W, and it, which is also a wheel excavator. That's, you know, differentiating factor between some of the mini excavators we have offered before. And then along with DTL, Dozer, all these new lineups aren't um, separating us from being kind of 
uh, you know, attached onto the pocket side in terms of product relation. So that would be one way that we're trying to uh, uh, distance ourselves even farther away and uh, have our own yeah. unique product lineups. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's huge, man. I mean, and I, and I think there was, I think that was probably one of the top things on a lot of people's minds is like how how this was what what was how it was going to shake out essentially uh -huh. with that relationship, that former relationship with 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 Bobcat with the Bobcat Doosan brand. Um, let's move on to the um, the actual kind of uh, the, this this latest uh, mini excavator, the seventeen Z seven. This is now the smallest uh, Develon mini excavator in the lineup, uh, weighing in at forty two hundred pounds. Um, Tell us a little bit about the development of this machine, kind of what led to uh, bringing an even smaller uh, machine into the lineup and kind of um, not necessarily capping, but putting putting an in, a further endpoint on the smaller size uh -huh. uh, scale uh, of, of your lineup. What kind of led to this, this machine specifically? Right. Um, as you mentioned, this is the smallest lineup that we have launched so far, and it is the uh, smallest mini excavator that we, we had in our lineup. A lot of these will be aimed for a residential construction, um, ideal for you know such digging, digging foundations, grading, and trenching. For specifically more in the residential areas, due to the size of it, right, where you would have even smaller areas to work on than some of the uh, 42s or 55 ton, uh, eight ton machines that we have. They might not be able to fit in the smaller area. Then 17 could come in handy. It is not an electrical hy uh, e uh, hydraulic machine nor it's a uh, green machine as uh, with the batteries and whatnot. However, this is a stepping stone into that uh, point where uh, in other regions, we do have a other a machine called DX20ZE, which is an uh, EMCV machine, but those are specifically uh, aimed for indoor operations. So with the size decrease, and then along with this stepping stone, hopefully we can kind of aiming onto the uh, indoor demolitions uh, on the job sites that we can send a machine inside with that kind of size. And something that we'll probably mention in later too was the retractable undercarriage and the collapsible yep. dozer blade. That does allow a very uh, shorter width of a machine to get in and out in, a, in a small spaces. So that's kind of what makes it special on top of the small size that it, uh, it is. One one of the things that I did see in kind of like some of the early um, uh, press release and marketing materials was that people uh, there there was demand there uh, for machines that can get into even smaller spaces. Uh, do you, could you kind of elaborate on kind of like what some of those more specific is? Was it like the outdoor um, kind of uh, getting up getting it up into tighter uh, up against walls or getting through uh, maybe backyard gates is that the type of stuff we're talking about or is it more of the residential construction thing so roughly speaking the tracks can be retracted up to 30 to 39 inch and then it can be extended to 51 inch but yeah when, when it's on the uh, retracted side it'll be 39 inch along with the blade that can be um, collapsed into and then there's a reason why I'm not calling it a foldable dozer plate in terms of the uh the wording of it it's not a hydraulically uh, operated function you have to physically pull out these two pins and and then pull them inside and then put this back it's not what gotcha. we're thinking as in pushing the button and then it will you know, automatically close up and down so it doesn't have that function which hence the name of the collapsible dozer plate um but yeah those allow you to go in the backyard in the small areas again any 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 doors that are thir less than 39 inch or sorry than a maximum of 39 inch and you'd be able to go in and then do the uh the jobs on the again on smaller uh side so that would include um interior not necessarily interior but um like construction on the house housing and then the small smaller construction projects grading and then also the utility works of uh digging digging place for the piping and stuff so okay Okay. Yeah. So just a uh, basically a uh, just a uh, hole in the in the lineup that you guys are filling here with this machine. Uh -huh. um, we, we've kind of talked about some of the segments. Um, it sounds like it's mainly uh, on the residential side of things, um, and maybe even some some landscaping work. Right. But, um, landscaping and utility, maybe. But could you take us through some of the other kind of like major design aspects and features uh, of this machine? The Kubota engine with no after treatment is one of the uh, first features of the X17Z-7. Uh, a lot of the other Develon Global Mini Excavator lineups have our own engine, the Develon engine, right? However, DX17Z S7, due to with the pricing and then the project uh, scope, 
Kubota engine was chosen. And I know that uh, this is an actually really powerful engine for, for that size of the uh, excavator. So that it was a good choice on my part, uh, on, on their part, on the engineer's side. Uh, it's, a, it's only a canopy type machine. So with size being as smaller than the 2735 or some of the 2.7, ton machines, we do offer cabin configurations for those machines. However, for TX17Z-7, we only offer the canopy type. So there's no cabin option. Uh, we talked about the retractable track and then the collapsible blade. So those two are and can be matched in the same width in terms of the uh, entering space on what the machine can be, uh, machine width needs to be for the space. Uh, entering width needs to be right 39 inch at maximum uh the hoses are also inside of the boom structure so then they are uh not in the outside it does come in pros and cons as in pros yet yeah, it, it's highly more protected but cons as in it is more difficult to have the access to it right it's inside of the boom it's um and then there's a quick speed adjustment button on the trigger lever which is uh, kind of a, new, a unique feature and it, for the DX17Z-7. It is a yellow button that's on the travel lever where it allows you to change your travel speed even more so. So then there would be four different uh, travel modes, whereas you, you have the rab traditional rabbit and turtle mode and then the two buttons that's also on the lever. So the fastest would be the rabbit mode and pushing that uh, button to grab it and then get in the fourth, uh, fourth speed, quote unquote. And gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was that's about it for the. Okay. Well, Andy, man, thank you so much for for taking us through this machine. Um, of that's course. that's about all the questions I had for you. But is there is there as we kind of wrap up here, um, is there anything else that you want uh, folks to know about this machine or any kind of um, what, what they should do if they want more inf uh, more information on it? Dealership wise, um, we have over about 100, 100, 180 dealerships all around the United States and Canada. Uh, we also have a national account services where, uh, you know, branches like Sun State, where it does have a heavy presence on the West Coast side. And then they, they have over, you know, 40 branches uh, in the United States, that type of deal. So uh, initial questions could be sent into our dealership that's nearby. And you can also get into our development website and it will reach, uh, send you into the most nearest dealership. And then if that's not uh, suffice, then we have an OEM uh, office headquarters in Swanee, which we will always be willing to help, uh, whether it's a parts side or service side. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy. Man, thank you so much for, for hopping on and, and taking us through kind of like not only the, the work that's being done on the brand side for Develon, um, but but also this this awesome new uh, little mini excavator here that you guys, I know, are excited about getting out into the market. And uh, yeah, man, thanks again so much. We appreciate it and hope to do this again sometime. Thank you.